Well, looky here, those are some fancy duds. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Overview. Today, let's take a quick look at the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Sergeant Creel. I just got back from San Diego Comic-Con, and this was in... Well, I didn't actually have a huge pile of boxes, but this was one of the few boxes, and hey, it's Star Wars, it's a Stormtrooper, it's got a lightsaber... Okay. Sergeant Krill is part of the publishing program. It has this elaborate box and it has all kinds of comic art around it. Warning, choking hazard small parts. Don't shove toys in your mouth hole. If I remember right, these stories fall between A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. So that's why Luke is in his yellow jacket. On the side, more images from the comics. On the back, Sergeant Krill holding his lightsaber, figure two accessories, warning small parts. Again, <laughs> they really don't want you to swallow these. On the other side, or well, the spine, I guess. Sergeant Krill, another picture on top, same thing, just different pose. On bottom, there he is again. On the inside, guess what? More Sergeant Creel. Bio, and then you get a look at the figure. Inside this book-like presentation, it's essentially just a Black Series box. So we're paying extra for a flap. Or, well, I guess a back, too, because there's an edge. Another set of warnings. We already know what this says. <laughs> Please, don't put them between your lips. Cellophane. Hasbro, you made most of the proper changes to turn this from a regular Stormtrooper into Sergeant Creel. Some are less obvious than others, but, oh, look at that. The base body itself is the new style Stormtrooper, though. Even though they painted it different, it is the same ab section. Same legs, same articulation scheme with the hinge and swivel at the knees. Same arms, again, hinge and swivel at the elbow and the sandwich shoulder bells. They're separate pieces with a ring that goes between the arm and the butterfly joint. Same helmets that may be shaped slightly different but it's the same sculpt as we've learned with this stormtrooper it just depends on how the factory glues it down on the head underneath if it's glued on crooked or with the head turned and the mask forward it warps it a little bit but krill's looks pretty damn good and then the extra paintwork around the gray on the old helmet that's not present on krill's it's just gray which may be done to emphasize that comic book look they did change out the belt it's been altered to include this pouch coming down on this strap on the right hip and then on the left, there's a holster, which is pretty standard for a stormtrooper, but that's not here. Then there's this double strap around the leg to another pouch, this smaller pouch around the left bicep, and then this, whatever it is, communicator, screen, a data pad, something strapped around the lower left arm. He just looks ready for anything. That's what pouches do. He stores some snacks over here, extra lightsaber batteries, maybe some Tic Tacs. Oh, I forgot about the pauldron. That's actually reused from the First Order Trooper. Almost the same color even. Although in most of his comic appearances, it's not this full-on pauldron. It's more like a shoulder flap. But it has been shown this way, so it's not inaccurate. I prefer it to be something out here because like this, it gets in the way of helmet movement. If the pauldron wasn't in the way, you'd get all kinds of head movement. But as is, there's some but not as much. Like I said, the lower torso is just painted different, both on front and back. The big change that makes it unmistakably Sergeant Krill is the new upper torso overlay. It's just smoother with these angles running here and here. It's missing the pecs of your regular Stormtrooper. It actually reminds me more of a First Order Stormtrooper with the smoothness. That's a nice bridging of the gap between time frames. And then around on the back, there is a jet pack. Some nice detail and a little added thing to Krill's arsenal. <laughs> But like I said, the pauldron gets in the way of helmet movement, and most of the time when I look down, <laughs> the helmet's kind of tilted to the left. As soon as you do something with the arm or the pauldron, boop. I also love these new add-on pieces. Haven't had much trouble with this, but this, sometimes the shoulder bell grabs it, or you, sometimes, apparently not this time. This does kind of fall down sometimes. Same thing for this one. You get down to here and it kind of free floats. Push it up tight into position and you're not going to have much trouble with it. I'm just pointing that out. I have noticed that getting the arms down to the sides, there's a detent in there and the click is so close that it runs the arm into there and then springs back up. If you go back, push forward on the butterfly and down, you can get the arm down to the side. But as soon as you come up with that, it's you son of a bitch, get in there. Okay, never mind. But ha, look, you mess with it. Yes, it's gonna fall down, I'll put it back up. But all that's just some extra elbow grease. Things you have to keep in mind as you're posing. What I notice is this overlay hangs down further on the left than it does on the right. I don't know if they're all like this, but it's on mine. Here you can see the underbody and over here you can't. So it's definitely a skew. I may have to do some customizing, some heat and pop and see what I can come up with there. Maybe this is glued into the back 
crooked and it's holding it off. Going over articulation, a dumbbell joint at the top of the neck going up into a head that is under the helmet and then a ball joint down at the bottom of the neck. Some up, get the pauldron out of the way, a little bit of down, not as much tilt as usual but side to side. Butterfly joint that goes back, forward, peg coming out to there, the rotation goes all the way around. Be careful with the ring on the shoulder bell. It may kink up a little bit. Yeah, hold it in place, go around. Hinge outside of that goes up. That strap's down again, get up there. Hinge and swivel at the elbow is cut enough to go up to there, and then swivel in and out. Swivel at the wrist, hinged in and out on the left. Trigger finger on the right should be, yeah, hinged up and down. Ball joint or dumbbell mid torso, great hula hoop. Ball coming out to the hip allows for this. Everything here is rubbery, so it gets out of the way. Back, out, stormtrooper armor gonna crash, but that's not terrible. Swivel at the thigh, nicely hidden by the armor. Hinge and swivel at the knee comes up slightly past 90. Rotates. Hinge at the ankle goes back. Forward. Forward facing pin for rocker. For accessories, there's your standard tried and true Stormtrooper blaster. When to compare it to the Stormtrooper I have out and the blaster is actually different. It doesn't have the same attachments on it. So maybe this is a new mold or maybe it's from a different Stormtrooper. Has no problem with the old push and twist and looks fantastic in a shooting position. Maybe they altered it so it would go in the holster because that wouldn't happen with the other one. I have a feeling that the gun's going to stay there for a good long time because a Stormtrooper with a lightsaber? That's how you're going to pose it on the shelf, right? Or at least I am. The hilt is Plo Koon's, just painted differently. Or painted exactly backwards, I guess. But there is a green blade instead of a blue, which <laughs> there's been several green blades. Like most Black Series lightsabers, you can pull the blade if you need to. But why would you need to? It's a stormtrooper with a lightsaber. It's a nice tight grip. And with the up and down hinge for a trigger finger hand, Ooh, sword wielding. With the articulation, oh, not bad at all. Sergeant Krill stands at a just barely under six inches tall, which is, how is he slightly taller than the Stormtrooper? It's the same body. And then of course, taller than Ceremony Luke, who sports eh, about the same costume he was wearing in the comics. He wore yellow for a while and then darker brown later. So at the end of the day, mm, Star Wars, Stormtrooper, lightsaber, badass. I always love it when Stormtroopers get to do their thing and when it's a specialty type situation where each member has their own talent and it really shows in both the design and the action, I'm a sucker completely. Utterly. I can't help myself. And I understand this may not be everyone's cup of tea. There's a lot of people who don't read the comics. But for someone like me who does enjoy the stories in the comics, the design work, and wishes I had action figures of those set characters, I, I, yeah, this is for me. In fact, I'm hoping for more Scar Squadron. I think I can customize Misty and Cav, but for characters who have unique looks, like Arrow or Mike or Shrap, I'm gonna need Hasbro to make those helmets for me. And even more so for Zook, because that's a huge stormtrooper. But I could do without the elaborate packaging. Although, with that much extra stuff, it does kind of tell people who don't read the comics the story, gives them some background, even if it is just a lot of pictures. You see a stormtrooper lightsaber fighting with Luke Skywalker, you may be interested. Although, now that I'm looking, they don't show any of the rest of Task Force 99. Hasbro, don't leave me hanging. Basically, Star Wars Stormtrooper lightsaber. So if you enjoyed the overview, comment, like, subscribe. Much, much love to the plus if you're interested in seeing videos early or in a position to help out the channel, patreon.com. But wherever you may be watching this, I'll always catch you on the foosh. Actually, isn't the sniper just a gun and a hooded cloak? A cape of some kind and then cab is just knives strapped in places so yeah i'm gonna end up doing some customizing do the easy ones first and then down the line if hasbro hasn't given us the rest of the crew hopefully the third parties and get some sculpts out there some 3d prints give us the unique helmets that are required for some of those other guys then maybe there's some other